What's up, guys? I'm Greg. I'm Rebecca. And together we are Develop Power. Power. Today we are channeling our inner Flintstones. We are going to take you on a prehistoric food adventure. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to Food Network's YouTube channel. All right, so we're going to be eating like the Flintstones. What does that exactly mean? Like well, meat, right? Just a bunch of meat. Yeah, I mean the caveman diet. on the show all the time was dino eggs. Dino eggs. We couldn't find any, but check out the emu egg. It's How huge. cool is that? Have you ever cooked one of these guys? Never. Oh man. Those eggs are no joke. Broke the yolk. <laughs> Obviously you can't have eggs without a nice side of sausage. ever made and I think that I just learned that you have many talents I did not know about. I can flip, I can flip that <laughs> you egg. Can flip no problem. Egg. To be honest, I... Were you scared? Egg. Yeah, I was terrified. <laughs> I was terrified. <laughs> So thoughts on that emu egg? I liked it, but I noticed a little hesitation on your side. You know, it was a little hard to, uh, to swallow. Um, I also got a piece that was all yolk. It's something that I probably wouldn't do again, but I'm glad we tried. However, the sausage, yes, yes please, yes please. All right, do you know what Fred Flintstone's favorite activity was? I do, bowling. Ah! <laughs> game, huh? Worked up quite an appetite for Seriously, lunch. what are we making? We are doing smoked turkey legs, and we're gonna kick it up a notch with a sweet and spicy teriyaki glaze. So this is our take on a dinosaur leg. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any dinosaurs in Whole Foods, so <laughs> this is the next best thing. Oh my God, how good do these guys look? It's huge! Huge! I'm so excited to try it. I think the teriyaki glaze is gonna be awesome. It smells fantastic. It smells really, really good. Dino cheers. Dino cheers. <laughs> Ooh, I'm pretty full, I don't know about you. It's so much food. I do not know how they ate like this and stayed skinny. Seriously, I don't get it. Well, I mean, Fred was pretty fat, but. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true, that is true. Great. Just great. So it would not be a day of eating like the Flintstones without a classic Flintstone vitamin. Oh. Cheers. Bring back memories. Mmm. Ooh, it was a good one. Yeah. Boring. Now we're heading over to Mighty Quinn's in New York City for the Brontosaurus rib. Brontosaurus. I don't it's, think it's a real brontosaurus, but... <laughs> it's the only place in the city that has it, and I cannot wait to check it out. Let's go. This thing is huge. Check it out. Look at that. That is a lot of meat. Two pounds, the Brontosaurus rib. Unreal. It was so much meat. It was so juicy. Oh my god. Insane, right? Uh, yeah. Can you see? You basically ate it right off the bone. I think I am so full that I officially have the meat sweats. I understand what that is now. <laughs> I'm getting thirsty. Oh yeah. It's time for a drink. Fred Flintstone always drank what was called a cactus cooler. We made our own version with... Orange juice, pineapple juice, cream soda, and tequila. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, little, so good. A little sweet and a nice little kick with the tequila. Yabba dabba do. 